Hi there, this is Nelson from geotech.com. I'm just trying to make some tests uh, using the uh, Surf Master metal detector. This is a pulse induction metal detector. Um, some guys are requesting me to uh, modify it to detect very small uh, metals on meat. So I decided to start and test a new coil. This is a very small coil, it's about 10 centimeters in diameter, made from a network cable, which has eight wires inside. I use almost uh, four or five wires, and the turn are about, it has about eight turns of wire that forms the 10 centimeters coil. Now I'm going to use this small, very small, very teeny wire that comes from one uh, resistor leg. It's very, very small, very thin. So you, you will see it, that this wire can be detected very, very, very easily. It's in vertical position and it's working no problem. If I place a wire horizontally, it's also detecting. The distance is about two centimeters from the coil. On vertical position, of course, as you know, the range is a little bit more than two centimeters. That's about two and a half or three centimeters above the coil. The interesting thing is that if you place, for example, this wire, it's bigger than the first one, longer than the first one, it's made of copper, enamel copper, and this wire is not, it's not detected. You can see, no sound at all. That's a very small sound there bigger so my question is surf master false induction detector discriminates or it doesn't discriminate delay is setting to 15 microseconds and I know that pulse uh, I mean uh, surf master metal detector is setting for 15 when it's setting for 15 microseconds she can detect more easily gold so I don't know why, almost nothing. The small wire, this one, is easily detected. And it's very, very thin and smaller. This is the smallest wire if you compare it with this one. Also, you pass, for example, a screw like this one, it's also detected. But what happens? when you pass over this very small piece of iron it's not detected and it's bigger it's almost the same size of the screw as you see it's almost the same size you can see it there almost the same size here's the screw here is the iron needle. This is a part of the needle. This needle is broken. The needle is about, uh, I'd say about four or five centimeters long. This is broken. This needle was found inside of a piece of meat on a factory. So my client wants to detect this kind of metal on the meat. But it's not detected. So the question now is Surfmaster metal detector can really discriminate iron or what? This is the big question. This afternoon I'm going to work on the delay settings and also I will try to do the same test with another pulse induction machine like uh, Gary's uh, metal detector. Thanks for watching 
and I'll be waiting for your comments maybe on uh, YouTube or through geotech.com that's www.geotech.com thanks for watching and have a nice day